Hey everyone, so this will be a very quick comparison, but mostly a speed test here between the 2020 iPad 8, 8th generation, and this is the 2020 Amazon Fire HD 8 Plus. So this is the Plus version, which gives you one more gigabyte of RAM, amongst other things. But the base thing is the one more gigabyte of RAM compared to the non Plus version here. Quick, let's go over Geekbench, then we'll quick go over some specs, then we'll get into the actual speed test here. Uh, so looking at Geekbench 5, this scores 1111 on single core, 2424 on multi-core. Way better score than on the Amazon, which only has a 139 single core and a 452 multi-core. So this is about, this scores about 1,000 more points on single core and about 2,000 more points uh, just under those numbers, under that, on multi-core. So this has a way better uh, Geekbench 5 score, if that may means a lot to you guys. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to go into Silk Browser here. I'm going to get this ready while I talk about specs here. So both of these have 3 gigabytes of RAM. 3, not 30, but 3. Awesome if they actually have 30. Uh, both of these have 32 gigabytes of storage. It is hard to speak and try doing things at the same time, I tell you. Let's see, we'll delete that from all time. Delete this history from all time. Uh, both of these have dual speakers. This has two on the bottom. This has two on, we'll call that the top side here. Uh, this has a camera up here. This has a camera on here. Uh, this is a bit of a better camera on it. I'm not going to show off cameras in this video, but this does have a better camera on it. Uh, as long as you don't mind it, if you're doing FaceTime, uh, coming from the side instead of right in front of you. Uh, this is expandable. It has 32 gigabytes of storage in the base version of it, uh, of the Plus. But it is expandable up to one terabyte. So crazy expandable. This, of course, you're stuck with whatever, whichever one you guys get. All right, so we deleted the histories on those. And get rid of both of those. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, pricing, let's go to pricing real fast and we'll get into the speed here. This is $330 in the US. Sometimes they'll go on sale for about 300. That's the lowest I've seen it. You guys can correct me if you've seen it for lower, but my area, uh, 330, maybe, 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 if you're lucky, down to 300. This is $110. Uh, for the holidays, it was down to, I think, I want to say $80. Uh, so this is about three times the price of this, but it also has, uh, well, as you guys saw, they're way better Geekbench score. Um, but this is cheaper. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's get into the actual speed test here, which is why we're all here. Uh, so Silk Browser on Amazon, and we're going to use Safari on the iPad. Uh, again, both of these are, I do want to say, both of these are on the same internet. Both of these are at about about 80% uh, brightness level. Uh, this has 90% battery life. This is at 85%. So they're all, they're basically the same as far as that stuff all goes here. So first I want to do some internet browsing. Let's get rid of that stuff. All right. First, we'll go to Pokemon.com. Let me make sure both these volumes are down. Uh, check out my channel if you guys want to see more comparisons. I've been doing a bunch of comparisons between this and all of my other devices. Uh, they'll probably be all uploaded at about the same time here. All right, Pokemon.com. Not that Pokemon.com makes any noise, but uh, so you see iPad is the winner. And it also opens up right away the non-mobile version, the website version, desktop version. We'll go to the desktop on this one real fast. I'm going to try and be as unbiased as I can during this video and let you guys decide. And you guys can decide in the comments too if you want. Uh, which one you think is better, which one you like more, for whatever reason. The Pokédex here. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on both of these devices. So Apple is going to be faster. Uh, I guess we'll watch down here. I'm going to renew both of these 
Uh, this gives you a motion. This one does not. So hit re or redo that. And watch down there. It just, the bars just appear on the apple. Whoop! It gives you a little bit of a motion, which I find really cool. Uh, iOS seems to do that. Android does not seem to do that. This is, of course, running Fire OS, which is a skin, which is Amazon skin of Android. All right, we're going to go to Vivid Voltage. So Apple is going to win. We can see, watch the motions here. Uh, neither of them have any hiccups or any issues at all. Which I find awesome. Again, sending with like the flipping of the card there. You guys watch the flipping of the cards. Now they're having an issue. We are going to keep it on right there if I can. All right, come on, come on. Okay, well, we'll open up a new one here. We'll go to Best Buy's, Best Buy.com. One nice thing about Safari though, I will say, is that when you like that, start typing in Best Buy and it just pops right up. I mean, I cleared the history as you guys saw, but I mean, I did clear the history, um, but yeah, it still gives you the rest of it up there. Uh, Android doesn't do that. Just a little, just a little thing, doesn't really matter, but it's a little thing. Apple is done. I'll wait for the story who would be done. All right. Let's go ahead, we'll search for Garmin. For some reason, right now, this is giving me, that's where I can see that, but the bar is up into the uh, other stuff there for some reason. It still works just fine. It still knows what I'm trying to do, which is kind of like a weird little thing right now. So Best Buy's website is wonky. I just totally typed in bestbuy.com there. Just like my brain right now, it's wonky. I go to Garmin on both of these. So Apple is done. All right. We'll hit the watches. Apple is done. So this is still loading. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and hit the... Uh, yeah, Ford Runner 935 there anyway. This website, I tell you, is very, very wonky. So you guys can see the Apple is going to be faster. As we saw with those Geekbench scores, it definitely scores a higher... Single and multi-core. Still getting some load in here. There we go. All right, now we're going to hit questions and answers. Maybe. So this is like a real world test here. Uh, like what I like to call a real world test. Cause I mean, I know people go online and search for stuff. Okay, there we are. Let's also do one more quick thing here. Usually just do those two websites, but let's go to amazon.com. This site is nowhere near as wonky as the Best Buy website is. See, this loads in uh, Amazon way better than it loads in Best Buy. We'll do the same. Well, or I'll hit something I don't mean to hit.
Okay, that for some reason corrected Garmin to farming. I don't know why that corrected it to... Okay, what, what are you doing, Apple? <laughs> Has Apple never heard of Garmin before? That's funny. So on here too, though, Apple is going to be faster. Let's just scroll down a little bit. Let's scroll down a little bit. Uh, okay, so let's also do this real fast. So you have all these different ones you can go to on here. Of course, this is a bigger screen, so it gives you a bit of a better hitting point, or it's called hitting point. Uh, let's see. So that was almost instant. But that guy didn't do too, too bad. All right, let's stay on there. Uh, again, so only thing that's open is so browser. Next, let's go into the App Store. So if you guys have an Amazon device, download Google Play Store. It makes it so much better. Uh, those are actually very close. I'm just going to keep on typing in Garmin today, apparently. My brain is just hooked on Garmin right now. So Apple's a little bit faster. Get all that. Let us go to some gaming. Go into Call of Duty here. And go. Uh, both of these can do gaming. If you guys want to see gaming videos on the devices, just check out my channel. I do have gaming on them. This I do not yet. This one I do. At least at the time of this making. I'm sure I will make a gaming video on this though soon here. So Apple is in. And while that's loading, we'll show you guys the graphics here on Call of Duty. So this is what it puts it in automatically here. So it is it is in very high graphics and high frame rates. I love too how when you go into a game, it puts it into horizontal for you. Then when you get out of the game, it puts it back to vertical, and that's how you had it. Love that. Love that. The Samsung A7 does that as well. I don't know why, but that just makes me so happy on when a device does that. Amazon sadly does not. I'm sure over time they will, though. But as of right now, they do not. So Apple is definitely faster when you're getting into a game. Especially a more graphic game like Call of Duty. I know it's not the most graphic game you can buy, but uh, yeah. Sorry if you can hear, hear my bird downstairs. Anytime someone comes home, she's she's more of a guard animal than my dog is. My dog a lot of times just stays asleep, where my bird goes nuts when someone comes home or comes up to the door or whatever. It's kind of funny. I did just update both of these. I made sure both of these were up to up to par, I guess you could say, right before this video. There we go. So Apple is definitely faster. Uh, this is a bit harder to see, so I'm gonna hold it up to the screen up, up to the camera here. So again, this is what it comes. So you can do medium and high on here. I think it actually starts off in low, but I think I changed it to medium and it works just fine. Once you're in the game itself, you have no issues. It's just getting into the game takes quite a bit of time for the Amazon. But once you're in the game, it works. Uh, both of these will work just fine. You have no issues once you're in the game itself. Uh, but this will definitely play in a higher graphics setting. We're going to Among Us real fast. Again, you see it goes right back to being vertical. Something that is very minor, but is nice when a, when a device does that. All right, then next let's go into YouTubes.
We're going to do some royalty free music. I'll show off these speakers real fast here. Get some good old TikTok. <laughs> Once you almost restart this video, I'm not going to go to the very beginning uh, unless I'm into it. TurboTax. It'll be a little bit off from each other, but they'll be pretty close on. We'll start off with the small guy, the small fry. Turn this up all the way. Then you have two speakers, one and one. You can only do up to 720 on this guy. That's what the display maxes out at. Uh, and then also pay attention to the bars, so very small bars on the Amazon. Uh, and then here we have two speakers on the bottom. Okay, come on. And here this guy will max out at 1080. This on this video. Uh, let me find that volume rocker. <laughs> And again, the speakers are down here. Neither are better. You guys let me know which one you think is better. Uh, but again, like I was saying on here, we have very small black bars on Amazon. This has huge ones, bigger than my finger is. Uh, this is like half the size of my finger. That's because of the aspect ratio on both these devices. Where well, most things, the Apple being wide like that is very nice. But on videos, it's not so nice. All right, then last thing we'll do here is go back into each one. All right, so that actually is, re nah. that's half reloading on this guy. This guy is no, no issue. Back to the Forerunner, Best Buy's website. Uh, again, you're gonna reload. So we do have quite a few apps open on both of these devices. Again, uh, no reload. Um, that was not a reload. So that's interesting. The first, <laughs> the first website we opened up did not reload. The other two did. Or at least half reloaded. Go to the App Store here. The Play Store. So n no reload on either. Call of Duty. Do not want to get copyright infringement. I don't think it will with Call of Duty. Uh, so neither reloaded, right? Yeah, this always makes you reconnect though on the Apple. Next will be Among Us. No reload. YouTube's. Uh, no reload. Uh, yeah, we'll go back to Soap Browser. Uh, no reload. So again, both these do have the same amount of RAM. Uh, for the most part, I missed it. Neither of them reloaded on, on anything but the web browser where the this guy did reload, but
but not on Pokemon, just on uh, Best Buy and Amazon. Uh, but you guys can see, even though this is a cheap device, it is actually, for as far as keeping stuff open, it actually does a pretty dang good job. Uh, this does a better job, don't get me wrong. Um, but this does a better job than the HD 10 does. That actually, that has a better processor, but this has better RAM in it. Uh, you guys let me know which one of you guys like better. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts, opinions, concerns. And again, you can get the Google Play Store on here like we went into. It takes about five minutes. Check out my channel if you want to know how or just do a very quick Google search. Uh, highly recommend doing that. Makes it way makes a way better device. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, you guys let me know what you think. As always, I really do appreciate you all watching. Uh, if you guys want to see another type of video, just let me leave me a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Uh, again, as always, I really do appreciate you all watching. I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.